give you a call when I can do it, yeah? Janice is just impog. Lovely turn of phrase, that. Oh, I'm very ladylike, me, you know. You gone bust already? No. Well, you will do if you close at dinner time. Did you know that people eat in restaurants? I've got a problem with the electricity, not that it's any of your business. Oh, well, we live in hope. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, well, she's not a very nice person. Anyway, don't listen to what she says. She knows nothing. It's all going really well. Just had a couple of setbacks, that's all. I'm sure you're doing a great job. Look, Roger, you have made a good investment, you know. It just might take a bit of time for it to pay off. Well, I know the score. There's no rush. Well, I know that money's a bit tight for you at the minute, that's all. What's Janice been saying? Look, I'm just saying you will get your money back. You know, first instalment could be any time now. What I said to her was private. She's no right. My finances are fine. I can't remember ordering a pizza. I want to talk to you. Well, I'm just on my way out. Please. It won't take long. It's about the restaurant. Five minutes. I won't offer you a drink. You're so horrible to me every time I see you. You reminding why? I just want you to stop having a dig. I'm not hurting you. You went out of your way to come over in the Rovers just to be nasty. Oh, you ain't seen nothing. Carla, we could have been good mates, me and you. We still could be. Oh, please, Leanne. And you were wrong about me and Paul, you know. And even if you do still hate me... Which I do. Even if you do, then you shouldn't let it cloud your judgement. Oh, don't worry. I'm very careful how I choose my mates now. Fine. But the restaurant was your brainchild, your dream as much as mine, and you're missing out. You've got some nerve. I'll give you that. Look, this restaurant is going to make an absolute mint. I just know it is. You could still be in on it. I'm not interested. You don't know what I've come to offer you yet. I don't need to. I've heard enough. Right. You'd be a silent partner. You wouldn't have to do any work. All you'd have to do is invest. Oh. So, you coming around here being all matey is really you coming around here with your begging bowl? Well, obviously, you would have to put some cash in, yeah? You know, I reckon you must be pretty desperate to show your face around here in the first place. <laughs> it's business not so good in either of your professions. I've turned me back on all that and the restaurant's going really well, thanks. What I said to you in the pub is closer to the truth than I thought, isn't it? The restaurant will work because I will make it work. No, you're sinking already and you come round here for me to bail you out. Right, fine. You're not interested. I should never come round. Wait. You know, I think you're right. Maybe I was being a bit hasty. Maybe I can help you out. has got cold feet. Who? Roger. Janice's fellow. He put ten grand in. And he wants it back? Yeah. I'll tell him he can't have it. Well, he needs it. I should never have taken it from him in the first place. So what do you want from me? Twenty grand in return for a third of the business. Yeah, I can do that. Really? Oh, Carla, that's great. That's fantastic. Look, you are not going to regret this. But I want 60%. 60? Look, I can sign the cheque right now. <laughs> 60%? That's a joke. I think it's a very reasonable offer. <sighs> Business is hardly great, is it, Leanne? Yeah, but then you'd have total control. You'd be my boss. Yeah, and with my expertise, maybe we can turn this around again. You're not even serious, are you? <laughs> No, not really. But it was so much fun watching you grovel. You knew that was a rubbish offer and you knew I wouldn't accept it. No, I am seriously, and honestly. I think it's the only offer you're going to get. Except the ones from the curb crawlers. Stick your money.